Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here and welcome, welcome to a new video. Today's video is a tour rather than a speed build because I did not build this particular house. This was built by Simmer Nick YT. And so the speed build should be up on his video. I think we're gonna coincide these. So if you're listening to this, I'm hoping, I'm thinking that the speed build should be up on his video at the same time. So this one here is gonna be a tour of the inside and his will be a speed build for the exterior. So that said, let's get on with our little tour. So I switched to evening view because I feel like we can see inside a little bit better on the evening view. I like the lighting. So let's head through the front door and I'm going to give you a little background on this house too. My story for this is the guy that lives here, he flips homes for a living. So he buys homes, he renovates them and he sells them and that's how he makes his money. And if you know anything about that, it's pretty dang lucrative. But when he bought this home, his wife loved it so much that she said, please, let's keep it. Let's renovate it for us. And so that's what they did. So this first area is the foyer here and it's pretty small. It's got a little stairway and all of that stuff but then when we go to the left is the entertainment center of the house so this is where they do the vast majority of their entertaining over here you can tell by the size of this that they do a lot of entertaining they they definitely have a lot of people come over his wife is a composer a broadway composer and so she's got her piano in here and Obviously, they, they definitely entertain and have a lot of guests here. And we have this gorgeous kitchen. I love this kitchen. It's huge. We don't have upper cabinets, but there's so much cabinet space below everywhere with this, this central island and all of this over here. And then this, this area on the, the left in the hallway has extra cabinetry as well. So they are not lacking for space. Then we have a little half bath here. Cool little blue powder room. And there it is for the guests and all of that stuff. And then when we go to the other side of the house, this is their private area. Now we have a coat closet over here. We have another closet off of what is their living, or not their living room, their library over here. So this is their library relaxation, kind of quiet area, reading room. So that's that. When we come over here, We've got the wife's area where she practices her piano. And basically this is their family area. So we've got a little living room here and this is where they can spend time together, where they can watch TV together and all of that good stuff. And then back here, we have a little office for mom and dad. So this is their space. Got a little reading nook and TV in here too. And the next room here, this was a room that husband and wife argued over a little bit the wife's favorite color is purple husband did not want any purple in the house he gave in and gave her this tiny little half bath <laughs> so that's how we have this tiny little purple half bath because she wanted a purple room in the house so that covers the downstairs and let's head back over here and go to the upstairs now one of the things that you can't see looking here is that we have an open area so when we go upstairs we can see it's open to below. It's not a huge open area to below, but it's enough. It's it's a little bit to make that foyer area feel a little bit larger to me. If you if it was real life and you were actually walking in there. Then over here, we have mom and dad's bathroom. Now, none of the bathrooms are en suites, but this is directly adjacent to mom and dad's room. It is the most opulent of the bathrooms. So they have their double sinks. They have a lot of gold jetted tub. They've got everything they could need in here. Clawfoot tub with a shower. So they have everything in here. And then their bedroom is adjacent to it. And they have a two part bedroom as we can see here. So they have a double closet in the middle in between. So his and hers closets. And the front area is basically their changing room area with the mirror and all of that stuff. So they have a little dressing room and then on the other side of it is their main bedroom space. And so they have a they have a good deal of space. It's just it's split up a little bit and it gives to me it gives it a little bit more of a cozy feel. And then the next room is basically the family fun room. So they have two boys that are a little bit on the young side. They're not really young, but they're not teenagers. They're kind of in those those pre like, you know, 10, 11, 12 years old age 
frame. And so they're very into this family fun room. They have their their electronic games and their foosball and all of this stuff. And so this is kind of just the, the place where everyone goes for fun. And then this is the boys room. Now the boys were given a choice. They could have either split the two rooms or continue to share a room. And they decided that they wanted to share a room because they're pretty much best friends. They do everything together and they didn't want to give up the fun room. And so they have their computer desks together. They have their little setup here to play Xbox or whatever the current video game platform is for today. And then they have their bathroom here. It's a nice little area. And of course they have a closet in here too. Can definitely tell I'm American with how many closets I create everywhere. Back down the hallway, we take a flyby. We go down to their laundry room here. So nice, quaint, little, cute little laundry room. I say little, who has laundry rooms this size, right? <laughs> Most people, their washer and dryers in a closet if they're lucky, right? So <laughs> these people are rich though. So for them, this is a cute little laundry room. Next room, they took one of the bedrooms and they made it into kind of a Zen room. So this is, this is their Zen relaxation room. Next room over here is the bedroom for their daughter. Their daughter is a 17 year old and she's very kind of goth emo. She's very into vampires and she also just got accepted to art school. So mom and dad have gotten her an easel and some art stuff and she's done some painting work and stuff like that. But this girl's kind of an interesting girl. So she's, she's definitely interesting and her room reflects that. And then over here, she has her bathroom, which she shares with the guest bedroom. So we have a little bathroom here. So that's hers. And then she has to share it when they're a guest, but you know, there's most of the time this room's gonna be empty, but this is a little guest bedroom. And the guests have pretty much everything they need, including a fireplace, which is nice, and a closet and all of that stuff. So, and that covers the main house, but we have a little extra house. We have a bonus house. So I'm going to do a little flyby over the grounds. And if we notice the extensive grounds, guess who lives in the little bonus house over here? If you guess the gardener, you would be right. So this is just a little place, just adequate enough for one, one guy. So he's got a little kitchen area, little, little place to eat over here, little living room for some TV watching and relaxing and whatnot. And then he's got a little bedroom, just enough space for one, and a little bathroom. And that concludes our tour for today. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you did, please do remember to hit the like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. It helps us YouTubers out a lot and gives you little alerts. If you hit the little bell, get the little alerts to come back and see me. And thank you so much for spending the time with me today. Bye now.